with a new team. And he gets Nimmo with a high fastball for the first out of the night. Six years. One for one last night coming off the bench and he takes a strike. All hold by Rodon. And he fouls back the high fastball. Good cut by Pete. Just up. 2 2 coming. And he pulls one on the ground foul. Alonzo of the line is Stanton. And he gets there and makes the human ask. Yeah. 1 2 coming. And through for a base hit. So after all those pitches away, he came inside and DHing him tonight. He's going to be protective of that. He fouls the first pitch. Torres for a base hit. Kind of to third. Inning first and third. And that's lined the other way by Stanton, and that's going to be just foul. Well, with the closed stance and the tuck shirt, Torres at first, and a check in on Torres, who has eight steals this year. And he mm. struck him out. Went fastball right in the middle of the season. Then Rizzo does. One is Luis Arise, who hits. And he lined the middle of one hop grab by Lindor. The step and the toss from the double. Seven of his nine home runs have come against left. Right. And Stanton gets another chance. And so does Rizzo, even though they're going to be out by a mile. McNeil grounds one to Volpe. And he gets thrown. And he line. Stanton over. And that'll go in. Pull down to third. And Mayhew has the hop. And Rodon, five hitter today against Tampa Bay, trying to hang on to playoff position. DJ LeMay, who takes first, but was terrific for six scoreless innings. And the crew. And that fastball away, Quintana behind 3 0. Oh, no. I come to move. And that's ball four, and so LeMay, who walked his. And he takes a fastball in the 101 games. The lefty started against them. Like a starting pitcher of the day. Field line by Bader and into the corner. To second base is Bader. And so first Yankee run last night with a double. And he takes a knee high curveball from runs well at second. And that one misses the low inside. Well, but that's a given. It is a given, but as a runner at third, to get on him in a hurry. That's grounded down to third of foul ball. And if it's a number, they're in the first inning. Can't get Volpe to bite at that high and away from. Couldn't get him to bite. Ball four. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And gosh, Yoke, it's a hot shot foul. And may you had a curveball balloons outside, and it's one on one. Gioka. And he darts one just up. Two one coming. And there's a strike oh. with the fastball. And he got a looking. And Peraza takes a high fastball out of the strike zone. And Peraza gets a curveball, grounds it behind the bag at third. Vientos going to go to second. And Base is still loaded for Connick for left, and he takes a fastball out made. Costs Quintana a run and more pitches. First time up. Neal going out as Mendick. McNeil's oh. catch for the throw to the plate. Alvarez. Yep, he just beat it. And a swing and a miss of the curveball, no speed. And to right field, McNeil back onto the warning track, feeling for the wall. Tom up last night. Did lots of tests on the field. He had Perez, who took an 0 for 5 last night with force from being plunked last night, and has the Mets first. Danny Mendick still looking for his first hit as a Met, starting his full. And that was right on the corner for a strike, and it's a with the White Sox. On the line, and Mendix got his first Mets hit. Out in at second base is Danny. Struck out his first time up against Rodon. And he tries to hold the swing, went around on the slot. This one in Alvarez tagging as Connor Falefa lines it up, makes it. And that's off the fist down to third. And Mayhew over to get it. And throws it at second with two out. And the board takes fastball for. Talking to Justin in the bottom of the third. Fastball runs in the door. And that Whoa. bounces into Higashioka. Mendick had thoughts of does this time on three and two. The fastball misses low, ball four, and he walked. First pitch, lines it to left. Connor Falefa moves over and makes the DL and, 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 
and all that. But um, man, it, what, what a what what a so much to your team. Yeah, as he goes, we go. I know it, you know it's a team effort. Ooh, nice play. Yeah, a bit. Uh, you know, it's 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 really rolling along, and they're all locked in. Uh, just the little details, like you said, the breaking ball were not able to participate, and especially when the, as uh, Nemo tracks this ball down. Well, I mean, it's nice to see Q back out here pitching. I mean, I know, who is that? Yeah, I think it is. Um, I guess I was talking with my hands a lot, and you know, it's just a, it's just a weird game, man. So, yeah. to, to our credit, I think well, we gave up a run in the third, and was fortunate that that was all. You know, after giving up a hunt. Bam, hits one out to center, chasing Bader back, and he'll get there and make the. Here's Jeff McNeil who grounded out to short his first time up. Yeah. McNeil fouls it back, and it's one and one. Rockle. Oh, oh. McNeil gets drilled in the back. Here's Canna. And he takes the first bit. And Canna takes a slider low and out. Skims one foul and it's one and two. And that one misses down. Two. And Canada takes that slider low. It's this year less than seven. And that tells a difference. And Canada lifts that one foul. One of the strong swung at ball four. And Mark carves that one foul. Again the three two. And that's popped up. Comes to Gashioka, and he just. And Canna takes ball four. So Mark, after fouling off a bunch, and now winging it's a double play ball right oh, to Volpe. Oh. It's stuck in his glove, and Peraza. Able to... And if they both agree that it is a good situation in the future to give the pitcher a blow. Rosario is because there are reports that he's about to get traded to the Dodger today. I thought you pulled the plug, Steve, so you can have a break. I was really impressed with the way you did. It. And he the third. Vientos on the quick throw, not even close to being it. To winds up on second base. That's a first. Ugly cut by Volpe. McNeil bag at second. There was no pickoff throw, and it's in. <laughs> and that'll score Bader. Oh, the throw about advancing. In this, in this day and age of the pitcher. Got to left. Coming on is Canna. And he gets there to make it. And Vientos, rather than going to third or to home, tried to get. One two coming and it's in the dirt one one coming and kind of oh. left the lines it into right and McNeil picks it off the old one Mendick goes around on the half swing and he's struck out on the slider that's the Orioles Nimmo with a check swing foul and it's two and two it's on deck since May 25th the Reds are three two to Nimmo and he oh. just got a piece of that Round ball. In comes oh, Peraza and he missed. Howard Kaplan. Knight. He the left for a base hit. So it's Tos has had a couple of rough. And the door fouls back that first pitch. Nothing in one. That's lined right to the second baseman, Peraza. Throw back to first. Mm. That's a good breaking ball by Rodon. And Pete takes a big swing and a miss and a slider. And McNeil back to the wall this time and leaps and made the catch. Home runs in a row. Chopper by Stanton. In comes Lindor to field it. Stanton running half there. <laughs> swing and a miss by Rizzo on a ball to right and right there is McNeil and that retired. And field line Stanton loping over. He's got plenty of work Ooh. out there. Say, 